Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Sunny and I'm a software engineer. In this video, I'll show you how you can get started with CodeShape. So for those who are new to CodeShape, let me tell you that CodeShape is a coding platform where you can practice your coding skills. This video is for the beginners who are just getting started with the CodeShape or any other similar platform. If you are a beginner, then this video is for you. I'll show you today how you can run your first program. But in case you are an intermediate or advanced level of programmer, you can watch another video where I have explained how you can use CodeChef effectively. You can watch that video from the i button or from the link in the description. But without further ado, let's start with this video. Here I'm on the CodeChef platform. So just type codechef.com and you will land up to this homepage. Okay. Here all you need to do is just sign up. You can sign up by any method. But once you sign up, you will see a page like this where you will have options like learn, practice, compete, discuss. All you need to do, just click on the practice. You will see a list of problems. So here you can see a lot of options over here where you can have different uh, topics mentioned and then there are a list of coding problems. All you need to do is select one of the problem and then start coding. So, so as we are just trying to understand how we can run our first code, what I'll do, I will select basic programming and then I'll just solve one of the problem. So here, let me just uh, uh, show you there are different option unattempted. So that means these problems are not yet attempted. Then on attempted, you have uh, those problems which you have already submitted. And then if you click all, which shows all the problem, right, including both the attempted and unattempted one. So what you have to do here is you just need to click on one of the problems. So let me just click on this uh, caps problem. So this is the problem with the name, the cheaper cap. Here you can see the number of submissions and then the what is the difficulty label. And then there is some contest code also given. So with this uh, contest code, you can assume that this problem has appeared on this one of these contests. Okay. So I'll just quickly click on this problem statement. You will see uh, some user interface of this kind. So on this user interface, you basically see two parts, the right left part and the right part. So let me first quickly show you the left part. So on the left side, we have the problem statement stating what this problem is about. And then you have the input format, how your input will look like, then the output format, what is the expected output format. And then you have the constraint, which you have to adhere while writing your solutions. And then you have some sample test cases given, right? So for this problem statement, this is the sample input and this is the output expected, right? And if you see here, there is an explanation uh, section where they have simply explained the test cases, like why we have this output for this particular input, right? So this kind of details you get on the left side, which will help you to understand the problem better so that you can write your coding solution. And on the right side, if you see, we have this inbuilt editor here on the top, you see a drop down which has uh, a list of languages. So if you are comfortable with C, you can simply click on C and you can start coding. Or if you are comfortable with C++, you can simply select that and you can start coding. So for me, I'll be writing the code on Java. So uh, this, this program I have already written. So let me just reset. So you have this option over here where you click and it resets it to the previous state. So, so once you choose a language, what you get is a already written class and method. So here, if you see, we already have a class code chef written and then the method. So you don't have to mess with either of the class or the method signature. You just have to enter your solution here, write your code solution over here, right? So here, if you see, like, let me just uh, tell you the problem statement. What is it? What is it about? And then we can start writing our code and we'll also understand what this uh, things which is being shown here like the test cases what is this button compile and run and submit means right so let me first tell you what this problem is about so this is a very basic problem which basically tells you that uh, uh, there are two type of cap services available on every input line you will see two numbers right which, where the first one denotes the price of the first cap service and the second one denotes the price of the second cap service so you just have to tell you like which cap service you will take for example, this the, uh, for the first input line, you have 30 and 65. 30 is much lesser, right? So obviously, we'll, we will be going to take the first cap service. In that case, you just have to read print first. In case both the prices are same, then you can write any, like you can take any cap services. And if let's say the second one is cheaper, then you have to cheap, uh, you have to print second. 
that means you will be taking the second cap service so this is a very basic program you just have to uh, uh, tell which cap service you are going to take and this is the number of test cases so the first line here if you see it says the first line will be t which means the number of test cases so here in this case the number of test cases were three that's why you are seeing three lines of input so you will and correspondingly you will have three lines of uh, output as well right so uh, this is about the input and output so next i'll show you how you can take input in this way and then output your uh, uh, and then print your output okay so let me just uh, revert back to that code so this is a easy code i'll just explain you uh, the input format you need to take so here uh, as i'm coding it in java or uh, you can code it in any other language the logics will remain same so first line here is the scanner we have declared scanner to take inputs and the first input we are we are taking is the number of test cases and we are storing it in variable t so this will take the number of test cases for for example the number of test cases is 3 then 3 will get stored in t and then we have written a while loop right so while loop what it will do it will run this block for t number of times right so in our case this will run for three times so the variable first will store the charge for first cap service and the variable second will store the price for second cap service right and then here what we are doing we are just printing the output so here we are checking if the first is lesser than second then we can simply print first and if the second is lesser than first then we can simply print second otherwise any right which means both are equal so this is pretty much the logic so which is very straightforward so here you can see the input looks something like this right so this you can also modify but for now let's run this program on the existing input so i'll just once you are done with the code you can simply click on compile and run so what it will do it will compile your code if there is any syntactical error you will get you will get ex, uh, you will get the errors accordingly but here if you can see the code has run successfully and if you see this was the input and this was this is the output which is as expected right let me also show you what happens when you have any uh, error let's say i have forgotten this semicolon okay and if you try to compile and run this program now you will get appropriate error message so here you can see that it it says that there is some error right it says that expected semicolon is expected and similarly you can go to this line number 19 as suggested you can rectify your error and you can compile and run again so this way you will get uh, appropriate uh, error message so that you can correct your program and similarly once you are done with that uh, you may also have some logical error right so let's say instead of any i am printing first right so what will happen so if you run this code you will see uh, some some wrong output right so we are expecting first any and second but here you see we are getting first first and second so we know right this this is the error right here though it says that the program has been successfully executed but the output is wrong right so if you try to submit this code in with this logical error let me show you what it gives you so once you submit the code what it does it basically runs your program against a number of test cases so it will try to uh, uh, find out the if you have missed any edge cases or not so here if you you can clearly see that uh, it says that wrong answer and it also uh, shows how many test cases it has tried and like uh, uh, what are the uh, kind of error you are getting right so here you can see all of them were wrong right so what i'll do i'll simply correct this program and we'll try to compile and run and then we'll submit okay so this has executed successfully let me submit the code now this should run and pass through all the test cases so let me just verify that so yeah you can see that uh, it shows correct answer and and then you see all the test cases for which this program uh, uh, got tested there is another option to upload the code as file but i would not recommend this because you are getting a, a better option to basically write your code over here and also if you're not comfortable using this uh, editor let's say you want to use your own editor on your laptop or computer you can go ahead and write your code accordingly you just have to make sure that the method signature is same right you just copy your logic over here and you run this program everything will work as is okay so you don't have to just worry about uh, like which one which editor to use like wherever you are comfortable you write your code you just copy paste your solution over here you submit the code 
and then you get this solution accepted okay apart from running this code on code chef there are other options you see over here like next problem previous problem you can simply click on this to get the next problem or you can also like the way we have selected from here a list of problems you can select uh, uh, the problem which you like or you, which you want to solve uh, like you can also have the option to select from different topics right so this type of advantages you get when you select the program by yourself but when you click on this uh, next problem this may give you any random problem right accordingly so apart from that we also have this uh, option to download the code so whatever the code we, you have written you can also download you can reset the code to the previous state you can also save as template like you can like whatever the code uh, you can you have written you can save it you can save it as a temp template so that you can use the same template for other other programs you can also modify the settings so this is just the editor settings like what like you can change the theme you can select the tab size font size accordingly right so these are these are something which you can explore and understand uh, you can also have this option to go full screen you can go full screen and write your programs accordingly so these are some basic thing you can explore on this uh, particular editor and the platform and you can understand more and uh, to basically enhance your productivity right so yeah uh, that's pretty much uh, which i wanted to cover in this video i hope you have understood how you can get started with the code chef and uh, also i have explained the similar things on different uh, uh, platforms like hacker rank and lead code as well if you are uh, not familiar with uh, hacker rank and lead code let me tell you that those are similar kind of coding platforms which you can explore so do check out them to get started you just need one platform and you can basically practice your coding skills and then go to any any coding platform it doesn't matter right because uh, like all of them are more or less same so that's all about this video i hope you have understood uh, like how to run your first program on code chef if you find this video helpful i urge you to please like this video and share this video with your friends and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing this channel for more such content thank you for watching